So we're going to look at how to use Google Drawings to create a design to add to your 3D printer. So in Google Drawings, I've just created a text box and um, I've typed my name and I'm looking through the different fonts, trying to find fonts that are going to be interesting enough and then looking at the different weight of the font. So see the little skinny parts on that one may be too skinny for the uh, printer to be able to do it effectively. So looking at a bolder print is probably going to be a better way to go. We're going to go to File and Download As, and we're going to choose the Scalable Vector Graphics, the SVG files. And then we're going to head over to Tinkercad. When we get into Tinkercad, we're going to click the Import button, and we're going to import the file that we just created. You can drag and drop, or you can search for it on your computer. Now here, I like to change the scale from 100 to about 25, and then click Import. That way our image is not just huge. And now you can see we have a 3D rendering of our name on the workspace. Now for this particular project, we're working with um, hearts and putting our name on our heart for a valentine, maybe for a keychain or a little pendant to give to a parent or something. So I chose a heart and I've sized it bigger and I'm going to take the name and slide it over to the heart now as you rotate around you can see that they're the same level so if I were to print that it would all you wouldn't see the name it would all be on the same level so I'm going to take the heart and I'm going to choose its depth and change it from 10 millimeters to four millimeters making it thinner and the name is still 10 millimeters so you can see it's pretty uh, standing up pretty thickly right there so we're going to change the name to about six millimeters in thickness and we can see that the thickness is a lot better now now we're going to take and highlight all that we've put on the workspace and we're going to click group and that will stick it together in one thing. Then we're going to choose export and we're going to export this file as an STL file because that's what your printer enjoys reading. Then we're going to open up the printer software and we are going to choose the import button, the file that we just created. And there it is. And we can see that's where it would land on the printer itself. And we're going to choose print. And I like to use the normal. I think that's fine for school projects. And then we're ready to go. Let me know if you have any questions.